Octane Anime Action is the name of the game in Relic Night. Mount up in your mecha and battle for glory at our Relic Knights Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a Warcaster. Take control of the mighty Jax, arcane devices, and dark sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Hello everybody and welcome. I'm joined by Rich from Wardog Games and today we are going to be taking news through a turn breakdown for Blood Red Skies. So uh, what we've got set up on the table is sort of a, a mid-game and yep. uh, we're basically going to run through a, a full couple of rounds here just to show you how stuff works. So, Absolutely. Uh, Rich, beginning of the round. How do beginning we start? of the round. Okay, so what we're looking at is a bit of a mixed match going on here. Mm -hmm. It looks like we've lost one Messerschmitt already and that's taken... Some boom chips. Yeah, have a bit of that. Un unfortunately, that happened in one shot, so yeah. it was disadvantaged, and I took two at yeah. the same time. So all you've got to do is try and hit somebody to get a boom chip, and that yeah. represents the squadron taking damage or uh, running out fuel, using up yeah. uh, fuel, doing yeah. all their maneuvers. And if somebody crashes, that's another one. Then you take that morale hit yeah. as well. Um, now, what we end up with after a turn or two is aircraft at different states of advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, we've already shown the sticks when we had a chat earlier about yeah. the advantage levels yeah so that's how you look and work out yeah. who goes next yeah and it, it does get pretty mixed up looking just across the board here so we've got someone back here as advantage these guys are neutral advantage yeah. disadvantage we've had a bit of a forward. bit of a whirling uh yeah <laughs> fight going on here so you just look at the table mm -hmm. to begin a start of a turn and you look for anybody who's in the advantage state mm -hmm. and their pilot skills. Okay, well, uh, advantage, that's the guys that are leaned back. So I have a four. You have a four. I also have a four. Uh huh. Uh, your ace, faster. unfortunately, although he's got a higher pilot skill, isn't at advantage. Ah, yes, yeah, so he's here. Yeah. So uh, he will go first, this number four, because I believe you're faster than me. I'm just a little tweak faster. So if you were lo looking at the cards mm -hmm. themselves, uh, you've got the very small number at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, hard to see there but the measurement is about three miles an hour slower than the yeah. Spitfire and this is because our actual in game speed is the same if the in game yeah. speed if I was faster I would go first you would go first on based on speed the same, it's yeah. then historical speed that's correct yeah got it so we can work out there's never going to be that draw yeah okay so it looks like my Spitfire is going to be the first one to make a move yes sir now uh, well there you go I've I got a couple of options that. here so okay. I'll just go run through those quickly okay. what do you got um because I can skirt around this cloud I'm not going to be any uh, messing about with my uh, level, I could perhaps come in and make a 45 degree, come in here, 45 degree turn and try, mm -hmm. but I don't think I've got the distance to get on his tail I and see. force him into disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, and a deflection shot, which I think we'll probably see a little bit later, mm. can be quite difficult to pull off. Yeah. So I've got an opportunity to do something called burn advantage, mm -hmm. get to about here, uh -huh. move Again, because yep. with the turn option of 180 degrees, I can use that at any point and yep. get on his tail. I see, I see. Well, right, so let's follow that through. To. So if I just put him down to neutral, burning my advantage. Okay, so the sequence is you get snapshots, then yep. you burn advantage, and now you're onto your movement. Now step. I move on to move, and now I've chosen to do the 180 turn. So I would move probably three forwards. That'll, That'll put me roughly there. Mm -hmm. I'll just put that in. Yeah. I can then make a 180 degree turn at that point, mm -hmm. and I'm going to direct my little arrow right at the front there, yeah. directly into your rear stem yeah, through so your rear arc. Actually on the, the stick that's holding the yeah. turn up. So that now forces me... To neutral and down to disadvantage. disadvantage. And because I've only flown three, I have to do a bit more, so I'm going to use all of that movement to get me in right behind on you, right on your tail, no yeah. doubt about it. Just in there. Okay, so now we're on to pilot actions. My pilot action, obviously I could wiggle my wings and outmaneuver you. Yep. No point doing that. I could climb for an advantage, but you're right in front of me yeah. and you're at a lower advantage level, so I'm going to shoot you. Okay. Now, we've got all these dice here, so yep. I am going to grab four dice for my pilot skill. Yeah, so you're, each pilot has a skill level, yep. and it's that skill level plus the stat of the plane that yes. gives you your final dice pull. Yeah, so you're building that pool, you want yep. as many dice as possible. My firepower is one for a Spitfire, therefore my five dice. Okay, and you've hit me. And I've managed so to hit. That is a marker for myself. I've now got three here. Yep. Now, now I have to roll to evade you. Now, if you can manage this evade, mm. which is essentially your pilot skill, uh -huh. plus your agility, yes. 
I haven't caused a critical at this stage, mm. so it's a straight dice pool. Yeah, so I would no be getting dice. three for my level, plus three for my actual aircraft stat, no. which is this one. Yes. Looking for an ace, and I don't get one. Unfortunately, you don't get one. So what happens here? He goes crashing into the drink. Oof. So in one turn there, yeah. that one aircraft, he's managed to peel around the corner, Yeah. and not only put one boom chit on you, but also knock out one of your aircraft, and that forces another boom chip. Yeah, so I've now got four. Yeah. And the way to win this game is having... More chips than, more you, chips have aircraft than you have aircraft. In your squadron. Yes, at which point your opponent wins. Yeah. Now, obviously, if you're flying with multiple squadrons, hmm. those chips are on that one squadron. The other squadron might still be in the game. Yeah, so they, they split down. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's nice to have a, that balance morale, because I am looking forward to seeing this in bigger games. Cause yes. Myself and John have been talking at the minute. I would, I would love to just see like a, a twelve foot table with everybody having like two squadrons playing oh, against yes, each other. Oh yes, yeah. That could be a hell of a game. Yeah, field them in uh, squadrons of six, mm -hmm. or go historical and look at what was fielded from a Yagus Frere yeah. uh, squadron. Yeah. Um, all right, so that's all of your actions for the round for that aircraft, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I've done everything I can. I need to put a chit on. Yeah. So here's and that's really important chits. because I've used up my advantage to drop to neutral mm. and of course when we get round to moving all the neutral aircraft I don't want to mistakenly move him twice exactly okay so the next level would be my advantage to four which is over here ah good now so, I'm quite close you so are I very think. close there I can actually take the snapshot at you you certainly can because it's a head-to-head -head. it's a head-to-head -head. I'm at a lower level mm -hmm. which means absolutely you can shoot me straight away mm -hmm. uh, now a head-to-head -head shot you'll do the same as we've just done before? Yes. Your pilot skill plus your firepower. So four plus one. Yep. And for a crit. Oh, this time it's a critical hit. So Beauty. that means I'm going to roll three dice for my pilot skill, uh -huh. three dice for my agility, mm -hmm. but I have to remove one because you've caused a critical. Excellent. Two or more aces. Here we go. Uh, one is. Thankfully, I've taken an ace. So I take one boom chip for the hit, Yeah. but I don't lose a level of my height. Yeah. Because in this instance, it's I'm in neutral, not mm -hmm. disadvantage. So all that would happen would be I'd lose a level of advantage. Yeah. Now, because it's a head to head, even though you're at a different advantage level, That's you get right. to, to daka daka back at and right. just yeah. take a shot. Absolutely. So, so my four shots three. this time. Yep. For an ear. And I've managed to hit you, so that puts <laughs> another boom on you. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit close. Yeah, that's getting a bit mean. Uh, so I, I will get my six this time. Yes. Because it wasn't a critical, and I'm hoping for an ace. I get nothing. So what this actually does is perfect because it actually shows that I now go from advantaged to neutral. Yes. Now I could see what was about to happen there was, and I was very lucky to get that hit. Mm. As an advantaged aircraft, you could have easily have burned advantage, flown behind me. Oh, I'm still going to do that. Done a 180. It's still worth doing, and it, it's actually going to show something else interesting okay. that happens. Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, now we're on to my full turn, so I get to decide Step to burn one my advantage. Shooting. So he will burn his advantage to go to disadvantaged. Yep, there you go. And then he will fly his seven over the top of you to here, uh, using that burned advantage to do a 180. Now, Absolutely. I will then be right behind you, but I am disadvantaged. Yes, you so are. So I cannot force you to disadvantage yeah, here. Th this is something called I tailing. Can. So when you're getting right in behind an aircraft and the little arrow at the front of your base mm -hmm. points directly at the stem of your enemy yep. through their rear arc, Yes, you would force them into a disadvantaged state. Yes, except for whenever you yourself are disadvantaged. Yep. But this is setting me up for next turn because yep. I am now able to, next turn after I've made my move, I'll take my snapshot. Yes. Uh, no, I can't because we're on the same level. We're on the same level. So unless another of your pilots can influence my level, mm. yeah. But I am in a good position to tell you and force you to disadvantage during the movement step next That's turn right. and then be able to take the second shot with the pilot action. And the great thing, oh, when you, you start playing with some of the extra rules, the yeah. Spitfire has a tight turn ability. Yes. So he could perhaps get out of Duck your out way. Of way. Yeah. When you're just starting out, you're not using those cards. Mm -hmm. Then it, your dive ability, the, the uh, option to dive, gives you the chance to keep up with me. Yeah. Yeah, or I can use the, the burn advantage to actually get myself on a 180 turn. Yeah. Uh, right. Which is at any point during your movement Any as well. point in your move, yeah. Right. So chip for him, because yes, he's just climbed. Chip for him, yes. Trying to gain some advantage. 
Yep. And so, we continue working through our advantaged aircraft. Yeah. So I have an advantage. That's right. You've here. actually got uh, a couple, but you've also got a three at the back oh, there. Three at the back. So I think I'll do the three at the back first. He's way out of range to really snapshot. Now this anybody, is. I think. Like, actually, is he? Because I think from here to here, he's in range and he can take yeah. a, a snapshot. Because he's at a lower level. Yeah. Now, if you actually figure out what your arc is, there's his shooting arc there, rolling out. So I would say, would I be in your rear arc? Uh, if you do that, uh -huh. to help work that out, I'd say yes, you are. Okay. So but he will take a shot at you. Yeah, obviously this doesn't move me to disadvantage because his arrow is not pointing, pointing at my yeah. stem. But I do get to take a shot. So it's three dice plus one for yeah. my firepower, yeah. the snapshot. And this is nice because you can target multiple things. Nice, there's a hit. Fantastic. So, so I take chits. a boom chits. For yourself. Excellent. And I've only got a pilot skill of two. And my Plus agility three. of three. And feel. So I now move forwards to disadvantage. Yes. And then he now still has his full turn to activate, so if I can get the ruler, please. Yes, yeah, sure. He will. Now you've got an opportunity to come it. in and try and shoot him, because yes. he looks like he might be trying to get yeah. in behind you. I'm going to be quite clever here. So I'm only going to fly four, mm -hmm. but I'm still behind this aircraft. Okay. Because so, you'll go after me this turn, so go for a gaining advantage, but then that's putting you back into my firing arc. That's right, yeah. But right now I can take a shot here because, once again, I'm in range to take the shot, which is nice. Yep. Uh, so that's another four dice attack, yeah? That's correct, yeah. So we'll pop that there. I'll give you these. Need them in a moment. So hopefully. the fact that you're shooting at me from the side doesn't really change actually being able to hit me in mm. that regard, but you'll see in a moment what I'm going to get. Okay. So I roll. Critical. Critical. Now that could be quite useful. Yeah. Now, in this situation, you're firing a deflection shot. I'm moving past you and it's quite hard to make that stick. So yes. I get to use my speed mm -hmm. rather than my agility. Ah, so instead of using this stat, you use this stat. Yes, so that gives me the seven dice for my speed. Uh -huh. Plus your level. Plus my pilot skill of three. Uh -huh. But because it was a critical, I'll nice. take one of those dice away yep. to give my dice pull quite a substantial number. Yeah. And oh, yeah, you got one. I only just got mine. I needed that. <laughs> okay. It, it's the one thing I noticed about the, the the actual mathematical curve that's built into this game is very interesting. So everybody has a chance to do it, but whenever you get to like that that pilot skill level of four to five, yeah. Whenever you're really just getting close to becoming an ace, it actually feels like these guys now have the skill to actually get that shot in, which is very that's right. cool. Now, of course, you hit me. Mm -hmm. Boom chip. Uh, put it on. Did you put it on already? I put yeah. it on. Fantastic. And you saved yourself from going down a level. Yes. Which is great. So it's just a zoom chit on your guy? Uh, yes, so it's a, a zoom chit on him. We then go to my Next advantage, advantage two. Yeah. Now, of course, here, your, your two gets to go before my three. Now, this is interesting. Because I've got a shot right behind you. So last turn, you moved into that position and climbed for advantage. Mm -hmm. Gives you that snapshot. Yes, but I, I wasn't able to force you down because I was yeah. I was not pointing exactly at it. Not then. Um, so it's two plus one for three. Yep. Yeah. That many dice. And let's give them a go. Oh, wow, you've got him. So that's I'm a boom chip. I'm on fire today. Boom chip straight away. And I get my three. No critical. So three for agility, six mm -hmm. dice. Oof. I'm fine with that. I oh, might have just word. used up all my aces, though. Bloody because hell. I think what you're going to do is quite obvious. Yeah, I'm just going to put her up behind you and have another swing. Yeah, why lose the why, advantage? Why would I not? So and from of course, here, just put her up four. And that allows you that slight turn just to get that stem arrow to arrow. So yeah. Now you're able to put that little turn in at the end of your move. Mm -hmm. Throw you, you to disadvantage. And then I will get another three dice attack. Because yep. why would I not shoot when I can? Oh, miss. Not that time. Unfortunate. He's only a rookie. He's only a rookie. Okay, and that's your... So that's all advantages done. Chit down for him. Uh -huh. We always got to remember those chits so we know who's done yeah, what. Yeah, th this is going to be a running theme, reminding me to put yes. these down. So we just scan the board. Is there anybody left at advantage? No. Doesn't look like it to me. So neutrals. Neutrals. I have my five. That's correct, yes. So he would is he in to... range? Not he is quite. Just, just out. out. If you look. Yeah, base edge to base edge. So he will have to move. Okay. This is quite the shame. So 
And we'll move forward his... Mm. Full seven? Mm, he'll go six. Yep. To here. And his 45 will again put you to disadvantage. Right, straight in there. Now, before you do, mm -hmm. before you do, I just want to check something. Uh -huh. Am I in range here from this one? Oof. Oh, you are. Now, so what's that do? That basically means I've got a wingman effect. Yep. Okay, no one's targeting my aircraft. Yeah. I can get you targeted. Right. Which means you haven't been able to gain much advantage over the ah, aircraft right in front of you because you've also got someone targeting you potentially. So that means. Even though I've gone, uh, I'm in that position to. You're in my forward arc. Yeah. And I'm in range. That yeah. means you can't tail me. Yeah, so there's there's probably a bit of tracer fire running across his Could his potentially, nose. yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, well, from where I am then, I still have my pallet action that I can take. Yes, yeah. But I can't shoot you because we're on the same level. That's right. So my options now are I either try to outmaneuver you or I climb for advantage myself. Mm. And having advantage on an ace pilot is pretty damn good. So I think that's yeah. what I'll do. So although next turn when, he, when it comes round, because mm -hmm. he'll get a chit now, yes. uh, this pilot will obviously trundle off, I'd imagine. Uh, yeah, might, but I'll be able to get there before him and catch up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I've got the move now. Uh -huh. but you, you'll be able to come in and try and catch me, and hopefully then you'll be out of my fire arc. Uh -huh. uh, the other thing, of course, from this chap here, when you shot him earlier, you uh -huh. force him down. Yeah. That was an even clearer example of yeah. wingman effect. Yeah, although now that he's knocked down, it doesn't he, count. he wouldn't count. Yeah? It wouldn't count at all. No. Yeah. Okay. Right. Excellent. Yes. Neutral uh, still. So we're going done. around. Uh, well, you have uh, four is done. I have, four is done. I you have three. Done this. So what's um, that three going to do? Well, my minimum move is. I could burn advantage mm -hmm. and spin around and leg it past you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sneaky. Or, or I could head for the cloud. Uh -huh. um, the other option, very tempting as it is, would be to move forwards mm -hmm. and make a bit of a turn, but there's no way with four inches I'm going to be able to get on your tail properly. Mm -hmm. uh, I could perhaps come up here and go head to head with him, but then you're at a high advantage level. Yeah. So I think what I'd like to do is burn advantage and run for the cloud. Okay. That so might give me an opportunity to come back out yeah. on your tail. So you're going to burn the advantage to, to the burn advantage. 80, degree, 80 degree turn. Turn. Into the cloud. Fly into the cloud. Okay. And that puts me back to neutral. Yeah. Now okay. I've done a turn, so I can't get that 45 at the end, but yeah. that, I'll be able to burn advantage and come out later. Yeah. So your next regular one is here, this guy who's going to be running away. Okay. Now <coughs> this one, again, always turn towards your enemy type thing. Uh, yep. Minimum move is four. Uh huh. 45 degree turn. Yeah. Oh, you're just in the arc to and shoot I me? I think I might. You've got a shot? Be there. However, what level higher, am I? Higher advantage, yeah. And I'm not pointing directly at your rear stem, so I mm. can't force you into disadvantage. Yeah. I'd also be in your fire arc. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so that's all I the can't shoot. neutrals. Yeah. Uh, I'll climb for advantage. Yep, good shot. And get a jet, please. Ah, yes. So he's gone. Now, neutrals are all done. Mm -hmm. he's, um, he's done. Uh, we've got to put a jet there. Yep. Disadvantage, lots of Spitfires. Yeah, so you've got one, two, Smith. here, mm -hmm. a third here, and him. So my Measure Smith is a two, so all of yours is going to go first. So uh, as you please, sir. Yeah, as you please. So I will fly forwards. I think I'm just going to fly my full speed to try and get away from him a little bit <laughs> and make that 45 degree turn yeah. facing you and climb ah. to neutral. So we're going to have another head-to-head. -head. Yeah, so if we have a, a chip. I'll have a couple, please, because this one needs one as well. Yeah, yeah. I'll put a couple here for you. Thank you. So they're all done. Uh, you've got him next. This guy next, yeah. So I think with him, yes. disadvantage can't affect your effect tailing. Uh -huh. So he essentially, although he'd love to fly up behind you and try and shoot down your ace, all he can do is prep for next turn. Right. I think flying him five would do for me, please. So and climb for advantage. And coming back up into the fight. And I'll put a chit on him. Ready to go. Next yep. turn. And of course, we've got the two twos. Yep. And this comes back to speed. Yep. So your two is faster first. than my two. So. And it's very tempting here to try and move in, maybe focusing on this next turn. Mm -hmm. 
but I've got that one coming from behind. I can't burn advantage, so I don't think I'm going to make the cloud. Uh. But by being here, I'll be protected a little bit, perhaps, by friendly when yeah. I climb. I'll get to about here, I think. Okay. So Flip him over here. and bring him up to neutral, okay. please. Yeah. And we'll add a chip mm. for him having climbed, leaving your two. Yeah, and the, the whole concept of advantage, neutral, disadvantage is not altitude. It's actually no. what sort of mental and physical state your pilot's in actually fighting the plane to actually keep it up in the air and keep the speed up and get it into good Absolutely. angles for firing, having that confidence to go after it. Yeah, so it's so, all about trying to work an advantage mm. for yourself over another pilot yeah. uh, rather than showing off specific manoeuvres. Yeah. You're trying to get that jiggle, yes. pokery, Adjustments. Yeah, get, get that line just perfect. That, that slight edge to. Yeah. Uh, Which I think I may have done here. So, uh, this yes. Mr. Schmidt. Yeah, no, uh, this is a. Currently disadvantaged. This is a disadvantaged Mr. Schmidt, and I think he might have. We didn't see this one coming. So, he will fly through the cloud for, I think, five would be enough. Making, him there. Yeah. Flying through the cloud instantly brings him up to neutral. Yeah. And he's got a 45 degree turn. Which I think if you were just a fraction just further back, enough. if you were a fraction yep. further back, that would absolutely do yep. it. Yeah, so that yep. pops you onto you here and throws you disadvantaged. Yes. Which means I can now take a shot. So that was a bit of a game designer job there you've done on me. Uh, <laughs> and he's done that a few times. By flying into a cloud, you automatically become neutral. So you're not using anything uh, like your um, pilot yep. option to bring you up. Yeah, so it's, it's good to fly through clouds, but it's also good to start in clouds because you can burn mm. the advantage. And because you're flying through the cloud, you're still at the neutral. So yeah. you can get the which advantage is, for free. Yeah, which is essentially what I'd like to do with this bit <laughs> later. If I've got a chance, because you're about to open fire. Well, it's, it's only three dice. Yes, it is a rookie. But then even rookies have that op yeah, opportunity. Yeah, even, even rookies, you know, every dog has his day. Yeah. It's not this dog's day. Not today. But it was worth the try. And it does mean that he is now knocked out for actually taking care of advantage and disadvantage around the place. Yes. Not to mention the fact that from where he is now, his firing arc is into you. Yeah. So you can't force me to disadvantage from this location, I don't think. Which is what I was hoping for next turn. Exactly. Yeah. So there is a lot of interplay within this game. Yes. So uh, what do you think? Is that enough showing off the mechanics, or do you want to go for another round? Are you we, could, fun? we could have a quick one last round. <laughs> just, he's so close. I think just have a quick look here. Oh, yeah, yeah. The round really won't take much time at all. Yeah. Because once you have more chits than you have aircraft, yeah. it's over. Now you've got five Mesh Smiths on the table. Yeah, and five tokens, so you just have to boom and me I've one more time. And I've got six and four tokens, so... All right, well, let's, let's grab the tokens. I think then. we need an Aria victory. After all, it is <laughs> very, very close now to the 100-year yeah, sure. anniversary of is the REF on the 1st of April. 1st of April? 1st of April this year. Of 2018? 2018. Oh. Yes. End of the, end of the war, yeah. REF was formed, and... Uh, Great War, of course, and mm. 100 years on 1st of April. Mm. No joke, it's the 100-year anniversary. Okay. So whether this video comes out in time for it or Before just after. Or after. Yeah. Right. That's kind of funny that they were made on April Fool's Day. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so start the round Good again. Good humour there, I think. Yeah. Back to what we were doing. So, uh, well, you know what to do now. Any so, advantage aircraft. So, obviously, my five yes. is going to be the first man to fly out here. Uh, I think... Oh, advantaged versus advantaged. That's no good. But so I can't get a snapshot. Have you? Will you, if you move up behind him? I should be able to get onto the turn. I should be able to get onto the. That'll step. push him down to disadvantage, and I think you'll be just out of my range. Yeah. So if I fly my five, oh, I'm popping yeah, that's down. Right. This does happen a bit. Yeah. And just with the the turn, I can get right on the stem. Yeah to knock you down. Just double check that I'm not in firing arc with Spitfire. Uh, Range-wise, yeah. you're out. <sighs> yeah, so I'm out of range, I can't affect that. Yeah, and so now I get to take a shot with my five dice plus one for six. Yes. So on the odds, for the actual mathematics of this game, there should be a one in six chance here. Ish. I'm already my best now. <laughs> and no! So I survive a round of shooting from his ace. I, I think we have been whiffing all of our aces. <laughs> yes, okay, that's a chit down for him. Yeah, so your four would go next, who is the, the disadvantaged one here. Oh no, But he's just said it is disadvantaged. Yeah. 
He's so, one of the last ones to go. I believe it's uh, my three here. a three over there is the yeah. uh, followed by your two. Yeah. But you do need to cheat on your race. I do. Thank Which you for the reminder. <laughs> okay, so he will just go... Uh, in a straight line, would actually be this way. <laughs> I'd see oh, that. sorry. Well, there's no wind, no wind affecting this, so you point? must move ah, in a straight apologies. line. And then you make the turn at the end. All right, so he'll move his four to yep. here. And it'll make us turn onto there. Exactly. So by flying a minimum movement, mm -hmm. uh, which is half your speed rounded up, yeah. seven becomes four. Yeah. You and can I'm just hoping... about stay in there with that 45 yeah. degree turn to get on my. Yeah, tail. and I'm hoping. Oh, I'm in range no. this time. Yeah. So it is. I can shoot you, but I don't get to throw you down. Exactly. So you're three a higher level. Plus one is four. Yeah. Now let's go. Nope. Nope. My word, it's all about that boom shit to make make those aircraft bog off. Yeah, yeah. All right, so oh, my two. number two. my two. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, I have an advantage to uh, two here, and I can see a fairly obvious target. <laughs> so pop that down like so, yeah. and all the way to seven. If you pull that out for me, yeah. and then for the forty-five turn, I think he's. Oh. Now the way to do this would be to again, if you've got a laser line, it can be easy. Yeah. Um, my rear arc is just out of yours, so you're yeah. actually in my side arc for that yeah. row. But I can take a shot on three dice. Yes. So take the shots if you have them, because then you get criticals. Critical. Now of course I've got a deflection yeah. shot yeah. of seven dice, plus my pilot skill of three. Yep. Minus one. Yeah. For the critical. Here we go. Oh, you're fine. Okay. But you did hit me. So you do take the boom. So that puts you on to five. Ooh, getting closer. Getting, getting hairy. Closer. And of course a chit on him. Yes. I'll tell you these and up. he's had a go as well, hasn't he? So. Uh, yes. 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 Remember these yes. chits. So okay. do you have any advantage planes yourself? Looking at that? No. 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 Okay, on to neutrals. Uh, neutrals. I have a neutral four. And I haven't. Yeah. So that'll be him. So he is out of range for a shot. Can't see the guy in the cloud. Yeah. So what you will do is... Are you going to attempt a head-to-head? -head? Yeah, he's just going to fly forward to about here. Okay. And just take a head-to-head -head shot against your three. Okay. I'm a higher skill pilot, so I should be able to get away with it. But you're not ah, at level. a higher advantage level. So, um, Unfortunately, actually, he wasn't able to knock him down a level. Yeah. So actually, what I will do, because we haven't shown it yet, I will outmaneuver you. Outmaneuver, right. Yeah, because we haven't okay. shown that yet. Now, in an uh, outmaneuver situation, mm -hmm. if you've got a high pilot skill, yep. it's quite advantageous because it automatically happens and you just take your opponent mm -hmm. down a notch. Yes. This one's not affected. Yes. Normally it has to be the nearest one yeah. to make it automatic. Yeah, but uh, this fella is in the out of the, He's basically in the cloud out of it, so it's yeah. not affecting it. Yeah, so... Otherwise I would um, be able to take a maneuver test mm -hmm. with my agility. And pilot skill yes as opposed to just becoming automatic yes which is fantastic because now i've got you disadvantaged and i've got someone maybe able to get in on your tail next that's turn that's right yeah so that's his one done yes um stopped him from moving now yeah uh, uh, threes, threes have you got any i've got a spitfire uh, a spitfire spitfire uh my measure smiths are all and just him on neutral and he's a two, so he'll yeah. get to go before you as well. Yeah, so all of yours now goes before me. Now, I'm going to start over here because there's the cloud action yeah. going on here. Yeah. That allows me, I can't shoot, step one. Step two is burn advantage. Yeah. So effectively, I burn advantage to disadvantage. Mm -hmm. I do my 180 turn yeah. to try and line up on your rear stem. Oh, you've got me. I come but out of the in. cloud in neutral. Mm -hmm. And, and is it four inches? That's the question. Well, you see that you could aim yourself a little bit more this way. Could do, but then I might not be pointing at your stem. Yeah. So it's going to be four inches, which essentially puts me right here. Yeah, and I'd say you're on me there. You, would you agree that's okay? I would agree, yeah. So you can go down forward. Thank you. I think games are cheap. It's yeah. all about that. Well, it, it, at the end of the day, games are meant to be fun, so doing cinematic cool things like... That Flying into a cloud, banking around and coming back. Coming out for back out on, on your rear, yeah. in the rear arc. It's all about that. And I think here you've still got a bit of an advantage. Although I've knocked you down to a disadvantage, mm. you've still got a pilot skill four versus minus yeah. three. So 
here we go. Four dice. Oh, Phrenius. Thankfully, I've hit you. Yeah. So and I that puts that six... all important ace. Uh, yeah. Boom, boom shit, shit on. on. And that's, What's game? Game? that's affecting the game. Do you want to see if he goes down? Well, I think I only have five planes on the mm -hmm. table. Yep. So I'm now on six. So that's game over. It is. I wanted to shoot you down. Oh, you want to see go down? Okay. All right. So it's uh, four plus my three. That's it. And I shouldn't go down here. I don't go down here. You don't go down. But yeah. effectively, uh, although no plane's gone down in the drink, mm. the Luftwaffe today are packing it up yeah. and saying, fuel's low, ammunition's out. Yeah, the, the air cover over the British Isles today is too heavy. We are turning for home. It's turned for home. Yes. Brilliant. Well, uh, everybody, thank you very much for watching. That is the basic mechanics of Blood Red Skies. This is a fantastic game made by the guys at Warlord and designed by Andy Chambers. Get those comments in below. Are you looking forward to this one? Because we certainly are, and we will be doing more videos very soon. See you. Salute. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming Let's Plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe, and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.